Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here and welcome back to another Spyro video. This time we are talking about Spyro Edit 2.0 created by Alex Shadow. Now, Spyro Edit 2.0 is currently not released, but he has released this video which I will be showing off right now for you guys. Some of the new features in Spyro Edit and also some additional context I was able to grab from uh, the comment section uh, from Mr. Alex Shadow himself. This is hugely exciting and this is only the first thing I want to show off, or he wants to show off more so. Firstly is the unified texture editing. Now as you can see here in the video, gone are the days of individual texture files. Now people that you do world viewer hacks or know about the Spyro world viewer, they will freak out about how easy this is to actually now do. All the files will be in one. Now he's also told me here, if you look, He's talked about uh, how the texture palettes, and this is something that has been a big issue for me personally, uh, has been like basically what happens is there's like a bunch of palettes for each texture or each set of textures will be under this one color. Now what he's actually been able to do is fix that. He can actually pick the palette for each texture based on the average color. Um, he says that this technique can be improved, but it's already better than what it used to be. It doesn't mean we're able to have like 60 million colors or anything like that, but what it does mean is we're able to have more colors and colors won't be as glitchy as they were. Unfortunately, water textures still have some small little problems, but that's okay. The next feature we have here is the sky fix. This is just mind-blowingly cool. I cannot believe that he was actually able to, able to figure out how to fix this. Have a look at that again. We've got the glitchiness of the skyboxes now completely removed with that one click of a button. Then we have object texture editing. This is gonna be quite useful. useful. That looks like his things from that Critters game. Uh, you see this, you can actually change objects now. Uh, that's Pingu from that TV show, except uh, he used to be Sergeant Bird. Well, I mean, sort of obvious, but yeah. All right, next thing here, money bags. Get the fuck away. The head bash op, head bash apocalypse. This feature is blowing my mind right now, and I'm pretty sure when Alex Shadow made this, he knew exactly the reaction that he'd get. Just complete and utter bewilderment. Look at some of the, look at some of this. The way that that whole everything is designed and like it completely morphed. I've never seen anything like it in gaming to be perfectly honest. And you know, the stuff that we'll be able to do now, like just, just for making things just bizarre, it's gonna be really fun, really, really, really fun. All right, the next feature here is Genesis. This one is a huge undertaking by Alex Shadow and he definitely knows that. He's definitely, uh, he's gonna be using this actually for his own game development. So it's sort of, started out as a tool like that and then it can sort of you know sort of apply you sort of applied it to spyro which is a quite a great thing he's doing quite a service to the you know fan game community look at that he's actually moving not fan game sorry or just hacks and texture hacks and you know the level mods and blah blah look at what he's actually doing he's actually moving the object now did we ever i genuinely thought that this this one was going to be quite far away i thought yeah okay that's not going to be happening he's actually it's like an unfinished texture hack if you actually look at that which is kind of cool maybe maybe we'll see some lx shadow texture hacks in the future i wouldn't mind seeing that would not mind it at all and then we have some object editing as well with the trolley a eh? am i right a eh? <laughs> oh god Look at that, how cool is the design? It almost looks like it was in, in. Um, it almost looks like it's been done like with, with the uh, world viewer, but Climan Company and Alex Shadow haven't actually worked together properly or officially yet, but they are, they are in contact for some little secret goss there, which I'm sure they have absolutely no issue uh, revealing. But anyway, here's Crystal Fisher, the, uh, the body, bodybuilder, breeze builder. Oh, and this is uh, pretty fun too. Look at this, if we turn uh, Fissure over here, Fisher, Fisher, you'll see that uh, the camera moves with you. But yeah, guys, fucking amazing, absolutely amazing. And with that, we are done for now. 
it's not out yet the test version is releasing soon it's really really exciting we'll quickly go over some of the new features here which are unified texture editing skybox fix object texture editing head bash apocalypse Genesis, the new 3D project, and object moving. That's it for now. That's all that's been announced. That's all that is we know at this point. I can't wait to try it out myself and actually see how it plays, how it feels, how, how this new version actually works, um, how easy it's going to be to do things. But, you know, for me, someone that loves to do texture hacks, this is incredibly exciting. But then some of the moving of objects and stuff like that, it fe really feels like we're just starting to get to, you know, the real real nitty gritty of you know really hacking spyro uh you know two two and three one sort of a bit but uh, you know it, yeah one one isn't quite as compatible with spyro edit for some reason there just some are uh, some errors but eventually we'll see maybe maybe they'll be able to figure it out anyway guys thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i shall see you in the next spyro video you never know maybe even spyro it may be out soon but uh thanks guys see you later because they all enter as Leo is.